hey everyone welcome back so in this video i'm going to talk about five courses that help me to become a data engineer number one course i did was from cognitive ai big data 101 i was searching for some beginner courses and i found this course and it is provided by ibm also it is free this course will teach you everything about big data and the fundamentals you need to know to learn big data such as what big data is some hype around big data, skills required for data scientists, understanding different use cases of big data, and some big data frameworks such as Hadoop. This course is overall good. If you are completely beginner, then I would recommend you to start with this particular course. Second course I did was from Coursera that was big data specialization. I did all of these courses when I was in college and I did not have money to spend on the courses. So I used to apply for financial aid and learn from it. This was the course where I understood most of the fundamental concept of big data and machine learning on big data. This specialization is divided into multiple courses and once you complete this specialization you will have good understanding of big data. This course will start with introducing the fundamentals behind the big data. So in course 1 you will get strong fundamentals about the big data. Once your understanding gets clear then it will jump on to one of the most important part of the big data that is building data models. You will also understand how to work with different data set, how to build data architecture, data models, handling streaming data, understanding difference between traditional DBMS versus databases used for big data and many more. This is one of the most important part of this specialization and I'm also teaching these things on my channel for free so you can also explore that. Then in the third course you will learn about big data management and processing such as Hadoop and Spark to process big data. You will be working on large scale data to process them and store it in proper location. And the last course is all about machine learning on large scale. This course is optional if you are just focusing on data engineering but learning this won't waste your time. It's always good to learn multiple things so that you can easily connect dots between systems. In each course you will also have projects and exercises to perform and you will also have to do final capstone project. Number 3 on the list is IBM Data Science Professional Certificate. Now this course is not completely for data engineers but having an understanding of data science is important as a data engineer and I did this course because at that time I could not find any good specialization. This specialization will teach you everything from having basic understanding of data science tools required to become a data science such as python, sql, some libraries etc and how to do visualization in python, working with sql, doing data analysis using different libraries and understanding of machine learning. Overall this specialization will help you to work on your advanced knowledge that will require you as a data engineer. So if you have watched my data engineering roadmap and data engineering series then you will understand that most of the data engineering we do is on the cloud platforms and there are many cloud platforms that are available in the market. Now when I was in my first year of the job, I got the requirement to learn Google Cloud Platform because client wanted that. This specialization has really good hands-on practice so you will get good understanding about different services on GCP. So number 4 on the list is Data Engineering, Machine Learning and Big Data on GCP by Coursera. This course is entirely focused on GCP and will teach you most of the things you need to know as a data engineer. This course starts with the fundamental required to become a data engineer. It also teaches you about Google Cloud and how to work with different services. Once you get your fundamentals cleared, then you will learn about data lakes and data warehouses on GCP, BigQuery and storage. Then it mainly focuses on building data pipelines from building a batch pipeline to building a real time streaming pipeline. And at the end, you will learn about machine learning at the scale on GCP. Really good if you want to learn one cloud platform. And the last course is Udacity Data Engineering Nano Degree. Now, before you close this video, hear me out first and my views on this Nano Degree. This Nano Degree is good. It focuses on main aspect of data engineers. It will teach you everything you need to get started your career in data engineer from data modeling, data warehouse, Spark, data lakes, data pipeline with Airflow and final capstone project. Education wise this course is really good but it is really expensive so you can learn everything free online so I won't suggest doing this course just for the sake of degree certificate but if you find this course online or you get it free from some other sources then you can do it else I'm teaching most of these things on my YouTube channel for free so if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you learn something new then click on the like button that will help my YouTube channel to grow and to reach more and more people thank you